Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Chisme Time. ¿Cómo estás, hello. Mariana? Derritiéndome, guys. <laughs> <laughs> It is very hot in Texas. I'm surviving out here. I was telling Diana right now that even like my my hair, my trencitas are trying to survive. Mira, aquí Aww. ya se está saliendo el pelito. <laughs> Oh, yeah, if you yeah. guys are watching this on video, you can check out Maria's Trencitas. Yeah, I'm no professional, guys, so <laughs> no, this is judge zone free. <laughs> no, no. Judge free zone? <laughs> judge free zone. Oh, yes, no. the, do you know how to do it from, like, the top? Like I, I have tried it. A veces sí me sale y a veces no. Es de ganas nomás. <laughs> Pero no, 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 I'm not really into, like, you know. <laughs> working on my hair, guys. Yeah, Mejor que alguien más me lo haga. Ahí si alguien me quiere hacer trencitas, <laughs> hit me up. Mm -hmm. Let me know. <laughs> you know, when I wear go to Mexico, I get my trenzas mm. done. So I get like the really tight ones in there. Yeah. It's so humid. Ay, sí. Es que apenas así porque... No, like having your hair down ahorita with this heat. Mm -hmm. If you guys are from South Texas, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but I know that California, mm -hmm. yeah, I va pa allá. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pero I think like in maybe end of July, we start getting hotter. But right now, it's actually mm -hmm. kind of chilly. Mm -hmm. It's cloudy and yes. Yeah, Qué envidia. Gloomy. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Pero de todos modos, sí, yeah, like. I guess compared to Texas, like it's it's not as hot, but mm -hmm. I know I'm going to to El Paso this week, and I was ah. looking at the I was looking at the temperatures at the weather, and it's like a hundred ninety I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Diana, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> get a little taste of this heat. Um, yeah, which is really really bad. I oh, no no no, ni ganas de salir. I had to do some like errands ayer. Oh, it was, it was bad. Like, <laughs> tuve que llegar a bastantes veces a comprarme like a drink, like a cold smoothie, mm -hmm. or así estar tomando así algo frío porque it was so bad, like yeah. very bad. Y todo mi AC del truck, I had to like tenerlo todo subido porque <laughs> ay no no no. Sí, sí ha estado muy muy feo. Pero, Make sure you're drinking like sweat or what is it like to oh, hydrate yeah. yourself because you know mm, you want your sweat, electrolytes. You start, there you go. Yeah, you start mm. losing all your electrolytes. Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been drinking a lot of electrolytes and um, y luego ya de por sí, I'm like, like I sweat a lot, guys. Like yo con tantito que me salga aunque no esté tan caliente yo sudo. O sea, así soy sí. yo. <laughs> así soy yo. So imagínense. Que, pues, aparte, pues, yo hago ejercicio también. I do work out. So, and then the weather. So, work out the weather. It's, like, el doble que sudo. So, obviously, I do have to hydrate extra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> extra. Because, you know, pues, I, boom. I me, ca yeah. me quedo. I me caigo. desmayada. Um, <laughs> ay, no, no, no. Yeah. Pero, bueno, overall, it's, it's getting closer to summer. I think it's, like, June 20 some, ¿verdad? Cuando it's summer season. Ya se siente como summer, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say this is summer season already. Yeah. Uh, but it is really hot. Um, y luego pues sí le pienso porque, like, my family was thinking of going to, like, the beach. And I was like, oh, like, I am very delicate with my skin. <laughs> like, my skin is super sensitive and like ahorita como te digo está super caliente so mm -hmm. if i end up going to the beach i'm probably gonna be that person okay ahorita hablando como wednesday i know <laughs> well, toda, wednesday. toda toda tapada con verdad sí <laughs> <laughs> porque no uh -huh. no no sí sí me yo like i do get sunburned very quick so a fuerzas tengo que estarme poniendo cada vez el sunscreen y todo porque okay. si no Um, and I really don't want to experience that, <laughs> having to go through all of that. It's like, ahorita no, mejor nos esperamos a que se mejore, si es que se mejora el clima. Mm -hmm. Being hopeful here. <laughs> I, I remember when you came, uh, she came to San Diego, guys, and she mm -hmm. got 
sunburn and oh, she had see. like her little sunburn and i was like oh my gosh i felt it's so bad <laughs> and it wasn't that bad like i get yeah, like la bad. primera vez que fui it was just like um como se dice humid right like mm -hmm. it wasn't hot so oh, no wasn't. actually it was kind of hot girl because i was actually it? you guys the came second the time oh the, the second, second time, time. yeah see sí. this came the, the hottest time of like the year. Oh, see. Oye, nos el calor. Yeah, it was, it was very hot. Y me tantito, like luego luego se me empezó a notar. Yeah. Bueno, así es la María. ¿Quién más es como la María? Let us know. And by the way, guys, uh, on Spotify, you guys can go ahead and like comment on this episode. There's an option there. I know a lot of you use Spotify. So if you do use Spotify, comment on this episode. Whenever we ask questions, feel free to comment. Mm -hmm. uh, y pues también en YouTube. <laughs> también sí. en YouTube se puede hacer comment. Uh, mm -hmm. Pero bueno, vamos a chismear un poquito. I am very okay. Spanglish right now, guys. Like, yo creo que este oh, calor, too. it's making me be like super 100% Spanglish. So <laughs> expect a ton of Spanglish from me yeah. and probably Diana también, como ya escucharon. Oh, sí, yeah. Just, I think escuchado. just expect Spanglish from me like for the rest of my life. I can't. Salud. I, I, I can't. <laughs> Cheers. I'm like in my picture. Ooh, mira a Diana. Oh, a ver. Vamos a empezar con el chisme, Diana. What is that inside your water right there? It's What's it for? Lies, for sure. uh, <laughs> lo que dice la Diana. Uh, just no caería tan mal. <laughs> <laughs> no te creas. It's, it's water. Just, just mm. water with like lemon. And then um, le puse el, the pink Himalayan salt with baking Ooh. soda. I don't know if you heard Ooh. of that. So it's supposed I have to. Not. It's supposed to give you like more minerals and nutrients and because you know when you drink a lot of water you have to go pee a lot right mm -hmm. so when you do this it's so it's actually like your body's taking in all the nutrients and everything so you don't have to go and like pee all the time mm. yeah is it kind of like a detox thing i don't know no creo que salga. Sí. I'm sorry, girl. Es que voy a comer. Ay, ¿qué traes ahí? Yo también. But is it kind of like a detox? Again, guys, you guys can watch this. Es que voy a comer, so. Aguacate, yeah. Pero me hago con tomato. I don't know why I've been like getting the bread with the avocado and then tomato, like tomato slices. Okay. And then just salt and pepper. It's so good. I love mm. it. Okay. I'm not that. If you love tomato. As you can see, it's not más aguacate el pan. No, but that's rico si también. The the avocado. Es amor. Pan tostado con aguacate. Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry guys. Mm. But you were saying about your water. Yeah. Does eso te ayuda? Mm -hmm. It's supposed to like help your body retain more of the nutrients because you oh, know okay, sometimes okay. water is just gonna flow right through you sí, and it sí, doesn't sí. really have nutrients or minerals or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I saw it from like on TikTok. <laughs> okay. I saw it on TikTok and I was like looking at a bunch of videos and people do it and it's been helping them. But I think it is kind of like a detox if I think think about it, like the lemon and everything. Okay, so, you need to make yeah. a video like once you already have like enough time with it and give us your review and we will yeah. share it in insightful babes para que todo lo vean if it's a good or bad decision to do or a good know, or bad right? thing to do mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's interesting i do know like yeah. you can actually add like fruits and like cucumber yeah. the only thing i mint. didn't like about the fruit was that it's sh like sugar you know how fruit has so much sugar, so I don't know if I'm mm. just putting like sugar in, like with the fruit in the water. But I don't know. I'm not. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm not like. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know so much about that. But that's what I was thinking. Like, si le pongo toda la fruta, it's kind of like a lot of sugar. So, but I, I don't know. Do just measure it, maybe. Mm -hmm. And also, if like your sugar intake throughout the day is not a lot, because yeah. I do know that people. I'm just gonna. No, 
like sugar is not in their diet. So mm -hmm. maybe that can help out. But yeah. obviously, like if you don't want a lot of sugar intake, porque pues mucha fruta también es malo. Sí, sí. Todo, I think everything has a balance, right? Like todo, mm -hmm. mucho de todo es malo. So we always have to kind of. Unos see taquitos en el pastor. Eso no te hace y mal. Y una ensaladita. <laughs> y una ensaladita. I know. Pues ahora they're, they're coming out with like salads are not good for you. No. I know, girl. It's like, so, I don't know, oh, yeah. supposedly because they have like pesticides and like mm. if it, it's not cleaned right, you know, oh. you get like stuff like that. Ya ni el, el aire. <laughs> ya ni el aire está bien. Yeah, yeah, yes, like, girl. <laughs> Pero pues just live your life. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> Ay, hablando del aire, like New York. Have you seen it? Oh, yeah. Guys, if you're from New York, let us know what it's like to be around that. Oh, That's I feel so bad. Mm -hmm. Wait, ¿tú querías ir a Nueva York? Sí, en, oh, in October. So hopefully. No, hopefully, hopefully yeah. y'all y y are good. <laughs> yeah. Are good up there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Everyone always makes fun of California whenever something bad happens to us. You know, oh, with all the wildfires that... and everything. Yeah, and the the ¿cómo se llama? when it was raining and stuff everybody mm -hmm. was saying we we're flooding y todo, so. I'm just going to say one quote don't mess with Texas your Texas your Texas yeah, girl is coming like, out like, yes <laughs> Always, always be a Texan at heart. <laughs> so summer is here. Texas, as you guys know, acá me estoy derritiendo. La María se está derritiendo. <laughs> Diana is enjoying her weather over there, allá in California. Yeah, for now. And, oye, we have to talk about this. Y ahí va, ahí va the big thing. And I think we did share it in one of our posts. So if you guys are like in our social media, you guys know, you're probably up to date to the things that we're planning to do and everything. Pero ¿cuántos años ya cumplimos con Insightful Babes? You oh know? my gosh, four years, guys. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. Four years. That is like, I don't know. It just seems like, it seems like we just started yesterday. I feel like we just... It's been such a fun time. Like we've just been having so much fun and learning so much, and I don't know. I, I just, it's amazing. Yeah. O sea, ni te das cuenta que se pasó tan rápido el tiempo. Mm -hmm. I guess because we've been so like focused and we've been enjoying the journey. Like, yeah. going, with everyone that we've been connecting and all the like the things, the projects that we've been working on, we didn't even realize. Que ya pasaron cuatro años. Like, what? Mm. Like, oh And we my still haven't gosh. properly celebrated our anniversary. Mm. Like, I feel no. like we haven't got together and, like, celebrated really. It's true. Know, and, and we we had, Maria and I had made a a promise and we signed a contract that we're going to celebrate each other's wins. And, mm -hmm. porque, no sé si ustedes son así, pero we kind of, we could probably talk about that. Huh? Like, we tend to yeah, be real here. humble mm -hmm. ourselves too much. Mm -hmm. Especially when we're making like good moves and good things are happening to us, ignore it or not ignore it, but we don't want to talk about it because no queremos like sound presumidas or we don't want to sound a certain way, right? So mm -hmm. I feel como que in the Latino community we kind of struggle with that. Like yeah. We don't want to seem like you're not being humble or stuff like that. And yeah, of course, mm -hmm. there's like a balancing you know you can't be like también presumida whatever it is but yeah we are really hard on ourselves <laughs> and we weren't celebrating things that we should be celebrating and even if it's just me and her like we weren't even celebrating we we're just kind of like okay cool what's the next thing like okay cool what's the next? <laughs> like no we we need to take some time and really celebrate even the small wins and the big wins and everything yeah, yeah that is true that is true it, it's been, I guess, like, it was a little bit of that. <laughs> it's the heat, guys. <laughs> it's getting hot right now. <laughs> like, it's, 
This whole journey has taught us so much, but at the same time, I really enjoy that we have each other, you know, and like yeah. we realize things that we're both doing, you know, como ahorita de lo que dijiste, that we haven't celebrated um, as we should do, you know. We should be celebrating. We should be celebrating. Vámonos de parranda, Diana. Vámonos de viaje. But I think that like it all falls into like the culture and the traditions and the el famoso el que dirán que mm -hmm. oh and the imposter syndrome for sure mm. and that was something that you and I have struggled with a lot we've shared it a bunch of times guys in like mm. some of our episodes so you guys can tune into those but yeah it's you know we like to share everything we like to be real we like you know, we literally share everything, our journey with all of you. Desde el principio que empezamos en Cypher Babes, we are being honest. It's not just like a show, like, ah, si somos Latinas, and we go through, mm -hmm. you know, this and that. It's like, uh, no, like, we are being honest and actually sharing what we go through and what we've been through within this journey of entrepreneurship, y lo también the traditional beliefs. So yeah, four years, four years with Insightful mm -hmm. Base. And it's like, orale, o sea, aguantamos. Y ya, ahora, it's like, we're more aware of, mm -hmm. you know, realizing things of like, whenever there's an opportunity, we don't, you know, whenever we don't want to like, I know it's good. Maybe that's too much. Maybe we're not ready yet. And we and now we notice when we do that, it's like, wait, yeah. hold up. You know, like we can do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even if we can't, we still go for it. We'll you know, figure because, it out. <laughs> yeah. And it is true though. Like through you will figure it out. Nada más y si luego ya lo demás va a venir. Uh, si da nervio, si te, <laughs> te da miedito. <laughs> Pero, pero yeah, like, you just have to go for it. And I love the, the video you shared. If you guys haven't um, watched it, it's on social media. Diana shared this uh, video about, like, just go for it. You know, like, yeah. she talks about all of that. And it is so true what you say, porque, yeah, o sea, si realmente tienes un sueño, just go for it. Just mm -hmm. do it. You want to start a YouTube channel. And we always say this, like we always say, if you want to start a YouTube channel, you want to start a blog, if you want to, you know, become an influencer or an actress or whatever, just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Just go for it. Pero es que es, es, es cierto. O sea, y eso es lo que Diana y yo hicimos. We wanted to be a voice. We wanted to share stories. We wanted a platform that we could relate to you know we wanted a brand that we could be ourselves you know and all of that he puts accused the insightful babes um I'm, I'm really happy for all of yeah. the community you know of insightful babes community todo el apoyo todo el amor everything that you guys have been showing us every single day muchas yeah. gracias estábamos viendo Diana y yo because uh, we had this thing that we were working on and we were looking at um, like how many audience we've been reaching out to like and they've been connecting with us and mm -hmm. we noticed the big amount of like um, engagement and from where it's like worldwide guys <laughs> so, so thank you it is crazy porque como les decía Diana y yo we focus so much on like work vamos a hacer projects da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. but sometimes it's like we have to stop and kind of like okay Diana hold up we don't realize those small little details and mm -hmm. this past few days we were noticing those small details and yeah we're like oh, oh. Nos pusimos más, más nerviosos, yes, más yes. <laughs> was like, um, hold up <laughs> yeah it but good. yeah it is and thank you so much for everyone who oh, tunes into our guys. podcast every single episode muchas gracias uh, wherever you are, know that aquí tienen su comunidad, aquí tienen a sus dos amigas, Viana y María. Um, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, I Oh, y el otro chisme, Diana. I survived my social media detox. Oh, you did. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can you explain Can you explain what social media detox is? So, I'm like a huge advocate for some social media detox. I feel like we all need 
a social media detox every once in a while because it gets hard out there. There's a lot of information being thrown at you all the time. And then sometimes you start getting overwhelmed or you start comparing yourself to others. And then it's just not good for you overall. So yeah, Ms. Maria took a social media detox for a week. Yeah, she took a week off. And I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her for doing that because I know Maria doesn't really like to to take any time off social media, but I'm proud of you. Yeah. Yo me estoy tratando de acabar mi pan tostado. Yeah, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for being able to achieve that goal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys, it's necessary uh, sometimes. Sí. Mm -hmm. Y sabes lo que me ayudó? Que I was able to see everything with more like clarity. Mm -hmm. So I was, you know, at that time we were like focusing so much on like projects y yo también personal projects, personal goals and like, yeah, you go punto where I like, I couldn't see the mean goal or how to achieve that certain goal. Mm -hmm. Nada se me venía a la mente. Yeah, like, I felt overwhelmed. I felt stressed. And I didn't like feeling that way because I was working towards projects that I wanted and that yeah. I actually enjoy. So I didn't like feeling that way. I was like, why am I feeling this way if I'm really into doing these projects? Like, they're my passion. And mm -hmm. that's when I was like, okay, sabes que, Diana, I don't want to admit this, but <laughs> yeah. I need to take some time off social media. Um, porque ya había, ya había tratado diferentes cosas. I've been getting, uh, like, uh, massage for my stress and like something mm -hmm. new right pero no nada me estaba nada me estaba ayudando and not even like my workouts like i usually mm -hmm. whenever i work out i go for a run eso no, normalmente me ayuda sí. pero ya estaba en un punto donde nada de eso me ayudaba so i was like freaking out I was like oh, like what's going on what's like why <laughs> yeah so yeah that was dije okay so i get social media so mm -hmm. I told Diana and then I was like, yeah, you know, like go for it. I, I told her for a week. Yo ni me la creía. Ay, sí, no voy a aguantar ni un día. <laughs> ni un minuto. <laughs> because as you guys know, I am an extrovert and I love connecting with everyone on social media because I get to like meet other people and I I probably end up following all of you guys so i'm sorry if i freak you guys out that i randomly oh. follow you <laughs> Así es la Maria, guys. if you don't want me to follow you just let me know like don't be afraid just let me know like hey maria i'm not okay with you following me <laughs> uh, but i really i really do like following all of our insightful babes because i get to connect more with you and that's the type of person that i am and having to take this break it was challenging <laughs> it was challenging <laughs> it was challenging i guess for the first two days that's mm -hmm. when i i like felt it i was like <gasps> like what's going on <laughs> what's going on in social yeah. media right now? <laughs> y luego apague. like i silenced all of my instagram and facebook and twitter and all of them mm -hmm. like the notifications and Y lo, pues, obviously, when you silence them, como quiera salen, ¿verdad? Like, or emails. Scroll. Have you ever gotten emails? Uh, I'm sí. like, dude, leave me alone. Sí. <laughs> oh, sí, sí. Y me llegaba así como que, you have, you know, five messages. Feel free to reply. Or, you know, or cositas así. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no, pero... No, yo creo que aguanté porque I really did want to get some clarity. Like, I needed it. I, did, I was scared the way that I was feeling that I couldn't, you know, find a way through, like, my goals and the projects that I wanted to do. 
So yeah guys, I survived and all I can say is if you guys are struggling with like stress or maybe the things that you do to relax haven't been working for you and you're mm -hmm. someone who uses social media a lot, definitely take that break. A lo mejor ellos nada más necesitan dos días. Sí. <laughs> no necesitan toda la semana, <laughs> pero yo sí necesitaba toda la semana. Um, and I did it. An extrovert here took a whole week off, guys, mm -hmm. from social media. And it did help me a lot. Um, and I do recommend it. I, do. I also think it's different, though, because even if, like, I'm, I consider myself to be to myself, but I still mm -hmm. love social media. You know, so it's like, I think it's just the fact that you have so much information thrown at you. And then you're mm -hmm. like, we don't, I guess, because we, we think it's normal now. It's just so we're used to it. But if you think about it, you're looking at everyone's life every single day. And like, even if you don't think you're comparing yourself, there's still somehow something there or you're looking at something and you're just receiving so much information, so many different points of views from people and I think it's just a lot. Like, I, I feel like our mind and, like, our human mind was not designed to be looking at so many things like that. So all these new things, like this new social media stuff, well, it's not that new anymore. But, you know, just social media overall, it's kind of hard for us to digest everything because we're, like, our mind is just running 100%, like, all the time, you know. So I feel it's good to to do that and and... I also learned that even signing out or logging out of your social media helps a lot mm -hmm. because you could time yourself to, hey, I'm going to check this. Because now we have Facebook. Now we have TikTok. Now we have Instagram. We have Twitter. Like, there's so many things out there now that you could spend your day checking all your social media, you know, if you really think about it. So either time yourself while you're checking stuff or log yourself out and what i do most time like most of the most of the days what i'll do is i'll log out and then come log in and then that's when i'm able to interact more because i'm like okay i'm catching up with what everyone's doing and then i'm like okay mm -hmm. now i want to interact with people instead of just kind of going in you're just because it becomes a habit you know you just open yeah. your phone and you're just scrolling and then it's just a habit like you just i don't know that's that's what i think and i think it helps to do that you know let's see ya yeah, ahorita todos vimos super rápido. Y fíjate que this past weekend, um, I hanged out with my grandma. Y I went shopping. De hecho, you called me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Diana yeah, called me and I was like, yo, to acá. I was busy I shopping with my grandma. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I noticed how, like, like how different my grandma is Obviously, pues, también sé que, pues, por su edad, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. um, pues, she's slower at things, at certain things, yeah, see. Pero, a la misma vez, I realized that she's used to a more calm lifestyle. Yeah. And I guess it's because back then, pues, no había celulares, no había social media, like you were saying, de que ahora tenemos TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, esto, lo otro. Mm -hmm. And it's like we're constantly like wanting more, 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 y rápido, 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 and the Wi-Fi is low, and why isn't it like loading? And yeah. it's like, we want everything so quick, so fast. And I feel like, well, when I was with my grandma, like, ella estaba super calmada y super así. And I loved feeling that way, you know? Like, yeah. un tiempo así de que, okay, like, calmada. And we enjoyed shopping. Um, miramos a bastantes personas y, y pasaban bien rápido rápido, es que tenemos que encontrar eso or, you know, like things like that and I was just like, oh, like, oh my gosh like, this is our generation now we yeah. want everything fast oye, y ahora you can order food from your phone, right? and you can, yeah. oh, 20 minutes and if you pay $2 more, you'll get it at 15 exactly. minutes or 10 minutes and it's like, like, todo ahora es rápido, 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 rápido and you don't enjoy the time. So yeah. that also made me realize that we need to slow down. We really do need to slow yeah. down. Even like when you would go to the doctors, I don't know if you remember, mm -hmm. you would sit in the waiting room and you would just read a magazine or you would sit and have conversations with people or, oh, you know, okay. stuff like that. And now it's, a, it's you just get sit down and go on your phone because you don't want to talk to anybody or 
you know, it's, it's just, cierto. it's crazy how, how things are different now. And like, I mean, yes, yeah. like, I'm not, I'm not trying to say like, oh, things are different, you know, like we need to change or whatever, but it is good to slow down once in a while and enjoy, like, get like, look up, you know, look up from your phone and enjoy it a little bit. But, oh, um, chaotic and <laughs> everything that we've been going through it's a good way to celebrate the enough for years y todo lo que yeah. hemos hecho. and it hasn't been perfect guys so this is why we're sharing this o sea, como pueden ver y escucharnos mm -hmm. uh we have been like literally on a whole roller coaster arriba y abajo oh, pero bueno That's aquí seguimos nos motivamos con insightful babes sí. because you know we are sticking to our vision and our mission and no sé, o sea, we do enjoy mande being consistent ah, i see mm -hmm. eso también yeah it's ah like yeah we do i feel like we just need to have like a chill celebration you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> i agree <Remember> that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i can't <laughs> Y el otro chisme que se viene, guys, es que pues allá les va a caer la María en California. Sí, ya, finalmente. Ay, sí. No, allá voy a andar, allá vamos a andar. Um, mm -hmm. Probably LA. I'm still not sure about San Diego, pero pues yeah. ahí, if you guys want to find out, you already know that we share everything on social media and like even in our cheese time so don't miss a cheese time episode yeah. because this is usually where we just like share all of the cheese with you guys um, <laughs> is that we also have like um, new projects and again we are planning our um was our trip to la if you guys want to meet us uh, we are working on some stuff that maybe we can even do like a meet and greet and we can all hang out. Um, I know most of our audience is also from LA, so we will let you guys know if you guys want to meet us. Or if you want to no sé, a tomar un, <laughs> a un tequilito. Or tacos. <laughs> or ir a comer, ir a comer yeah. tacos. Este, iba a decir cafecito, pero va a tener que ser frío, guys, porque... <laughs> Yeah, no <laughs> calentito, calentito, como que no. Uh, but yeah, ya vamos a andar. Este, ya andamos ahí scheduling uh, dinners and lunches with some of our our amigos from LA, and I'm I'm excited. I'm excited because I haven't been to LA in the longest time. Well, last year. Last year. Last year. Last year. Last year. Three weeks ago, but okay. Mira la Pero pues no. Pues sí, sí. Les vamos a avisar if um, we sí. end up doing something, do which something I'm pretty sure que sí. That. Sí. Ahí déjenos saber, what would you guys want us to do? Or like, yeah, you guys let us know. What's the sí. vibe this summer? <laughs> yeah. What's the vibe we're going for? I to, to talk about um, the... Flaming Hot movie that came out. Mm. I also wanted to bring that up because if you guys haven't watched it, you guys need to watch it. Like, it's a must. <laughs> it's so sí. good. And I feel like we need to be supporting these type of movies. Also, mm -hmm. you know, so Hollywood could keep playing sí. these type of movies or keep making these type of movies for us. Mm -hmm. But más so. que nada for like... Um our stories to be heard yeah, for representation you know for... see yes you know, some some way like hollywood somehow hollywood does not give us enough representation especially with like our own stories they've been giving you know like um roles to certain latino actors but no es suficiente porque we do need you know to tell our stories and we have so many stories like mm -hmm. we've had so many special guests on here with incredible stories and it's like hollywood <laughs> you're missing out mm -hmm. like, what's happening you know um but yeah. bueno pues como dijiste el primer paso es siempre apoyar support 
uh, all of these new projects that are sharing our stories. So if you guys like have not watched this film, go and watch it. I'm pretty sure you have Disney Plus or yeah. or Hulu. Uh, yeah, todos tienen eso. Ya todos tienen eso. Ya lo hacemos de corazón. Sí. Este porque pues es, de eso se trata, no apoyar. Um, but yeah, if you have seen it, let us know what you think. I know a lot of people um, have been sharing about it, and I even share like a post. Yana, you need to post oh, a know. picture. Con los I'm, trying to, I'm trying to. <laughs> I ate hot Cheetos when I watched it, but that was that was the different Diana. <laughs> that was the weekend Diana. Now I'm back to my healthy. <laughs> se acabó los hot Cheetos y ya cuando se quería tomar la foto ya. <laughs> y dije no, pues ya ya ni modo. <laughs> No. <laughs> What's your favorite way to eat hot Cheetos? Um, limon y hot sauce. Mm. Oh, super, super sour. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> Almost more hot Cheetos. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I love hot sauce and um and limon, but like the verde, limon verde, no el. Do you What's buy the like the it? do you buy the regular hot Cheetos or los que ya traen limón? No, the regular ones. Mm. I like the regular ones because mm. I don't know, just basic, I guess. <laughs> but I like the regular ones, and then I also like the puffs. The puffs are pretty good. And los de the queso o los de hot Cheetos? No, hot Cheetos. Yeah. Oh, I see. Pero and los then, que te pegan en los dientes. Sí, that's the only thing I don't like. But, um, Pero they are good. Es el típico, yeah. comes uno y luego quieres otro y luego quieres otro. Dale. Y luego los de limón también, I'll eat them sometimes. The only ones that I can't really eat. Like, I'll eat mm -hmm. them here and there. But the extra hot ones, the black bag. Oh, okay. Those are too hot mm -hmm. for me. Too too hot for me. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I can't eat the whole bag. Sí, yo tampoco. Sure. No. Yeah. No más dos o tres. <laughs> yeah, no. see, I can eat them and then ya le paro. I'm sí. like, okay, no, it's not going to be good, guys. Sí, sí, sí. Sí. Yeah. No, a mí me gustan con quesito. Y que esté bien caliente oh, el quesito. Con queso, mm -hmm. sí. I forgot about that. Me gusta. Yeah. Sí. Limón, no tanto. No. no. I can't do sí. cheese anymore just because I can't eat cheese that much anymore. But that, those mm. are my go-to, too. When I was in high school, just... Hot cheese with cheese, y luego hasta le poníamos sí. jalapeños adentro. Oh. No, hombre, ya no, I cannot do that now. No puedo. ¿Para qué no comía más. eso? Ajá. If I do that now, I won't be able to sleep at night, girl, no manches. Oh. It was worth it, y la de Anaí con todo el dolor de pan. Ay, no. Pues vayan a ver la película, está muy buena. Sí. Let us know if you already watched it. Um, on to tell you guys that we do have new episodes every Wednesday. We are trying our best to upload new episodes every Wednesday. It's been a challenge. Um, yeah. But ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Este, tenemos new episodes coming up with special guests. Uh, y really incredible special guests también. Yeah. <laughs> so, <excited>. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pero eso no le contar. So. <laughs> Ni modo. <laughs> You're going to have to tune in to all of the new episodes, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and expect new episodes again every Wednesday. Hasta luego. Bye. <laughs>